Tina McDonald, part of the Spellbinders design team. Today we're going to be using the Gingerbread House die set along with the Build a Tag One to create this fun holiday scrapbook page. Let's begin by creating our gingerbread house. With the gingerbread die set, there's two large dies. There's an inset and there's a border. Both of them are going to give you an outline cut, so they're both going to cut a shape. So we're going to die cut both of these onto a mocha cardstock. We can do this at the same time. And we're going to place both of these onto our base plate. We'll cover them with a cutting plate and then run them through the grand caliber machine. Now before we emboss, we're going to remove the border piece as we're going to need the insert for that. So now go ahead and cover the inset with the tan embossing mat, the pink embossing plate, and run through the grand caliber one more time. This is going to give us the beautiful embossed detailing. Next, we're going to nest the insert with the border die, and we're going to place the die cut piece back into it that we've already cut. And then we're going to run it through the grand caliber machine with the tan embossing mat and the pink embossing plate to give it a nice embossed piece. Now we're going to take a step back and we're going to take the inset that we've already die cut and return it to the die template. And now we're going to add some red ink to some of the portions of the embossed areas. We're going to be adding glitter over top of this, but we do want to add some color first so that the glitter holds a nice contrast to the craft color. Now we can go ahead and add our glitter glue to some of the embossed areas. I'm taking a green glitter glue and I'm going to do all these little swirls on the sides. You want to be careful and make sure you go in a direction so your hand is not going to smudge what you've already done. Trust me, I've done that many times and don't want to do that on your project. <laughs> So go ahead and emboss or um, add glitter to all those embossed spaces that do not have the red on them. The places that have the red from the ink, we're going to be adding some red glitter here now. Again, make sure you start at the top and move to the bottom. And that way your hand is not going to be smudging what you've already done. Once we've added all of our glitter, we're going to set this aside to dry. And once it's dry, we're going to add a little bit of foam tape underneath, and then we're going to layer it over top of the embossed gingerbread house that we created. And this is going to give us a nice dimensional house. It's so cute and so much fun. Love it. Well, that's drying. Let's go ahead and die cut some of the candy pieces. Onto the base plate, we're going to place all three of the candy pieces and then we're going to die cut them using white cardstock. Then go ahead and emboss them using the embossing plate and the embossing mat. Now we can go ahead and add some color and some glitter to these as well. You can either stencil through the die using um, a red ink or you can go ahead and just add the glitter glue as you see me doing here. Both options will work great depending on the look that you want. Then again, we're going to want to set these aside and allow them to dry. Now onto that same mocha cardstock, we're going to die cut some tags. So I folded the craft cardstock in half and the die cutting is able to die cut through two layers. So that's great. We're just going to place our tag down onto our base plate, add our cardstock and our cutting mat and run it through the machine. So today I've chosen to use my gingerbread house and my tags onto a scrapbook page like you see here. I've just layered up some papers and tied some twine onto the end of my tags which I've trimmed off. I've added some journaling and my title which is part of my journaling and stuck them all down. On my scrapbook page I've added some machine stitching to add a little bit of texture and dimension to it. And that is it. We're going to layer up our candy pieces around our title as well as around our gingerbread house. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me for today's tutorial. Be sure to leave any comments or questions in the space provided below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Spellbinder's YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.